what is up gears heads my name is subject matters and I'm bringing you something uh, I should have done a long time ago but I haven't really had a lot of time I was working two jobs for the longest time and um, as you guys can see I'm playing Gears of War 3 and I do a lot of turns for this game First thing I want to talk about uh, is the three topics that this video will actually touch. One of them is um, the fact of anything. Um, the second topic will be about my tournaments and also um, some other things I want to bring up, which is um, <coughs> which is um, sorry, excuse me, uh, which is. Um, Taking lives. Uh, first thing I want to talk about is taking lives. Uh, in about next month, uh, we're doing a a stream totally dedicated to um, taking lives. Uh, his name is Brian, and um, he has a lot going on in his life. Um, with that being said, we want to be able to introduce so much to him, and uh, we want to be able to help his GoFundMe page. Now a lot of you are probably wondering um, what is this GoFundMe page about? Um, well, it's real simple. Um, a long time ago he was diagnosed with I believe liver cancer and as I read and as being a father reading this um, it, it actually struck my heart because me being a father I know what it you know I know how it is to struggle and with that being said um, I didn't want to see a man in his uh, predicament to struggle as much. Um, with that being said, we are we are going to donate um, or dedicate a stream entirely to him. Um, we want to be able to um, get with a lot of you that actually are Gears heads and that are um, loyal Gears fans. Uh, to come out to our stream and you know do not donate to my stream uh, we will have a uh, a button that you can click uh, to donate to him it will be strictly for him none of the money that we get will be for us whatsoever or my organization it will be strictly for him um, another thing I want to bring up guys is um, make sure that like if anybody in the community ever has a problem and you see them tweet you know certain things and you want to reach out to that person make sure we reach out to that person um i know we've lost a lot of people in this community i won't say names but let's all make sure that um that we as a community actually become a real community and reach out to one another um, don't be afraid you know there's a lot of people in this community that actually do care about you um, you may not know them 100% but there are a lot out there that actually do care about you um, with that being said there you know myself there's Chubbs I mean if you guys don't know who Chubbs is hit him up you know uh, at Noble underscore Chubbs very great guy uh, easy to get along with um, we're hoping that you know we can actually make this community a lot more stronger through that um, another thing I want to touch on is uh, a tournament that we're actually going to be having. Um, with that being said, I'm actually going to talk about it right now. Uh, this tournament is known as Matters Esports uh, Chaos on Sarah V3. Now, if you guys remember, um, I'll go ahead and type it in real quick. Um, Chaos on Sarah. Oh, I spelled that wrong, didn't I? Yes, I did. Uh, first YouTube video, I'm already messing up. Uh, Chaos and Sarah, guys, was a very successful tournament. Uh, we had 64 teams, as you guys can see here. 64 teams came out. Um, prize pool was ridiculous. Um, we had so many people donate. Uh, I'm excited that not so many people donate. We only have myself and uh, also uh, Matthew Winch and Stephen Short. They donated $130, which was 190 total. But what we did was we th we just went ahead and threw another 10 in there and made a $200 solid, giving uh, each person um, 50 bucks. Um, that was back in October. 
And as you guys can see, it was such a great tournament. Uh, one of the greatest things about this tournament the most was the fact that Blacklist Studios Team 1 and Blacklist uh, Black so team two, they competed, and it was such a wonderful tournament because they went through a lot of people to compete, and then of course Black Tusk Studios team one actually did win. Uh, with this tournament, we're hoping that with Black Tusk Studios, I should say now the Coalition Studios, that they actually um, play. Uh, this is Chaos on Sierra V2. Um, we have it all set up. Um, the flyer is going to cost twenty dollars. Um, but right now, as it stands, Matters Gaming, with me and my staff, we're going to donate 100%, and 25% of all donations received from June 5th uh, till June 27th, which is the day of the event. Uh, prize pool will subject to change, depending on how much, you know, amount of money we have, donations, uh, those we will announce publicly the day before the event via Twitter at Matters Gaming, also uh, periodically during the event. Um, we strongly want you, the viewer, and also the participant to enjoy this tournament because we are trying to do something successfully that no one's ever done yet again with 64 teams we're, we're trying to lock it down from 10 hours to 8 hours if we get done this sooner than that that's great um, we actually are trying to reach out to Hyphen Station and Gear Set Central to actually uh, participate in this actually uh, send some refs, uh, some maybe some helping hands. Anybody who wants to make a quick 10, 15 bucks just for helping out, let us know. Um, with that being said, we have a Lancer National Lowdown. I have had serious debates with those before um, this tournament. They want the Hammer Burst, they want the Lancer, they want the Retro, they want the, um, the Sawed Off and the Nasher. Uh, I think uh, real competitive based because I'm strongly competitive side since Gears 1, which is Lancer and Nasher loadout. Uh, but what we did in favor of this to add more flavor to the maps and also the characters, we put no restrictions on the characters. I mean, it's any character can be switched, but we will put below that. As you guys can see, there's nothing below it yet, but we will add... Um, you must have uh, different characters. You cannot choose the same character. That means you can't run around with four Savage Candaces, four Bairds, um, and also uh, four Dizzies or females. But you could choose anybody you want. Um, of course, we lowered the bleed out time uh, for King of the Hill to 15 seconds. I heard a lot of things good about 15 seconds, which is pretty awesome. Um, also, we had a blood drive. Now, I know that's a little weird for y'all to. Uh, think about but we actually really wish that blood drive was actually used as a, a execution map and people said they tried blood drive they said it was campy but we actually made it to where it's not campy at all this is the execution setup but we actually added it to the king of the hill setup uh, the reason why is because there's constantly explosions um it's like a hockey game if it's two to two you never know what's going to happen because it takes 10 seconds to literally make a goal um and you just never know what's going to happen with that we made this an intense match uh, also the same thing with um clock tower we added the turk bow uh because we want more explosives we want to make this a kind of like a michael bay experience like constant 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 explosions uh we left mercy and uh, i'm sorry we left dry dock the way it is like you guys love to play on so we left that alone but what we did was <clears throat> what we did was with Mercy, um, all we did was change out the uh, snub nose pistols. I mean, the, the pistols itself, because um, the way it's set up is perfectly set up for a King of the Hill. Um, honestly, the way um, we're going to do it, though, is um, we're going to take off the mortar and we're probably going to add a Turk bow. So it's going to be Turk bow, digger, nades. Um, or Turkbo, Boomshot, Nades. Uh, we're still working on the maps, but by the end of this weekend, all the maps are going to be perfectly set up. Uh, as you guys see, we have Checkout, Gridlock, Hotel, Old Town, and Trenches. Uh, we're still working on Old Town, guys, which is a sweet setup that we actually do have. We're actually hoping you guys actually join that. Um, with that being said, we have another tournament that's going to happen in next month in July. Uh, we're giving you guys a little peek of that. That's actually going to happen. It was going to happen on the 11th, but we're actually going to wait two weeks after that. Um, so we're hoping that you guys actually join. Um, my thoughts on E3, um, to be very honest, uh, when it comes down to E3, I don't understand... Um, a lot of you, I see a lot of complaints. I see a lot of wants and needs and desires for the actual game. Um, 
with that being said, I understand when it comes down to it, uh, you guys are like, whoa, I want this, I want that. Um, I, too, really want a lot myself, but what I'm thinking is what's going to happen after E3 is announced, Gears of War comes out, people are all like, yeah, I'm hyped, yeah, I'm hyped. What's going to happen is um, a lot of you are going to be uh, not disappointed. I think a lot of you are going to be real excited because a lot of you are going to start playing Gears of War 1. Um, that, that's going to be the best thing that ever happened in this community for sure. Uh, that Gears of War 1 player has actually come back. We have our you know, uh, amazement um, and, sh and so many others. Um, hopefully, we see it next. EMS Lunchbox, who is not really known in the pro realm, but it's actually well known in the Gears of War realm uh, from his standpoint uh, and all that good stuff. Um, there's like Fresno 420 24 7. Um, oh, I don't want that by Bob. But, um,. When it comes down to it, guys, I am a very big community leader, and I actually want you guys to experience as much as I do. I know there's a lot of critics out there saying matters gaming, um, you know, they're they're bad, they're toxic, and all that. I assure you guys, we're really not. Uh, we know that the only thing that we actually really want for this community the most is that there will be a setup um, for a uh, uh, spectator mode for the next Gears of War, uh, where we don't have to. You know, hit the right joystick to spectate, but we just spectate, you know. Um, with that being said, guys, um, my thoughts on E3 is simple. Um, Gears of War being announced and Gears of War happening, and it's big. And it's so big that people, f like, literally freak out because it's going to be so interesting to see not only uh, the players. Um, return, but the tournaments, you know, in the high station has a, a successful tournament. Um, we're hoping that um, that, you know, Matters Gaming and Hyper Station can maybe one day work together. Um, I think Gears of Central, Hyper Station, and Matters Gaming can actually make a tournament so big before another um, Gears of War 3 land event, which will be the last Gears of War 3 land event, that we can make it so big um, that there will be uh, not just you know a big prize pool, but also uh, a lot of teams that will travel and working together to achieve one goal, which is to do something so big for the community. That being said, um, that's my thoughts on E3. People coming back for Gears of War. Um, with that being said, um, don't forget, guys, uh, June 27th is our Chaos and Sarah V3. I'm sorry, V2. Uh, um, and also, uh, next month, we'll be doing a um, Gears dedication to. Um, um, taking lives. So, uh, and then, uh, you all actually enjoyed. I really appreciate you all for watching this video. Uh, there will be links at the bottom of the YouTube. And again, uh, you all take care. Thank you again. Peace.